Hello Facebook friends! Um, I went out today, which is a thing that I'm getting to do more and more of lately because of now that I'm all vaxxed and fully baked and all of that, I'm uh, trying to go out and do some stuff and, you know, recover from a year of being a weird cave person. So, uh, so today I uh, followed the advice of a very wise man who once said, every day, once a day, buy yourself a present. So I bought myself something I've been wanting for a long time. Fancy gin. <laughs> I don't drink very much, but when I do, I like it to be fancy. I want it to be like an experience. So I got myself two things uh, that I had my eye on. Well, this actually, I found out about a few days ago. This I had no idea. I, uh, I went looking for this, but I also wanted to get the Empress gin, which is quite fancy and also uh, I think like purplish in color, but it was like forty dollars, and I was like, yeah, maybe not. And then I looked at this, and I was like, oh, oh, and that got me very excited. And it was much less money, and I was like, this, this sounds better <laughs> for for the moment, for the moment. So what we have here is two different flavored and colored gins. This guy here, it's by uh, Joanne Moore, Master Distiller. It's called Bloom Jasmine and Rose Gin which I am really into floral flavors in things like teas and in cocktails and I really like a nice light floral flavor uh, in things. It just it makes me feel very fancy. And uh, it says it's a delicate pink gin created with naturally extracted botanicals selected for their fragrant sweetness and floral notes. Ho ho ho. It also says, and I, I cannot get over this. Let me see if I can get it close without knocking my phone over. I don't know if you can see it, but it says that it has, it's gin with certified color. Certified by whom for what? I don't know. Is it certified nice? Or is it just certified not poisonous? Or is it just certified like, yes siri, that's a color. And I'm an expert. I, I decline to tell you who I am and what my title is, but I have certified that this color exists. And it's so important that it doesn't just say it on the front, it says it on the side too. What? Okay. I will take your, your word for that. The other one, this is called Bombay Bramble. And I love anything with the word bramble in it. I don't know what it, what, what my deal is, but uh, it is sort of like a raspberry and blackberry flavored gin and by Bombay, who makes the Bombay Sapphire. And I am gonna be tasting these Normally I wouldn't do something like this, but like, uh, you know, a bunch of people on my Facebook were like, oh, I wish I could be there. I wish I could try those. And I'm like, yeah, I, I wish all of you could be here too. That would be super great because I really miss seeing everybody. And I've seen a couple of friends so far and that was great. Um, I got to hug friends for the first time in like a really long time. And that was super great. And all of the people, just so you know, if you are watching this and you are one of the people who wrote, I wish I could be there, I wish you could be here too. Like, a, a dirty apartment notwithstanding. So, but I, instead, next best thing, I'm gonna try these, I'm gonna let you know what I think. I don't generally drink alcohol straight, um, and I don't intend to. I bought some cool mixers, actually. I have um, a diet tonic water, and I have a, um, mm mm, mm something else. Oh, I have uh, some sugar-free uh, ginger ale. Boylan's makes a sugar-free ginger ale and I happened to find some on like a clearance discount and uh, so I bought a lot of it and uh, and I was thinking I could also maybe make some lemonade with like a, like a sugar-free lemonade. So I've got some options. So I'm really excited for what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take a taste of these and I'm gonna use my very very fancy tasting glasses aka repurposed Penzi's spice jars. They're very handy, okay? I know that it makes me weird to collect these, but I also know I'm not the only one. I think uh, there's, there's, I think it's like a symptom of something where it's just like, oh yeah, all of us people like this, that this is a thing that we do. Well, it's a thing I do. I collect the jars and stuff because they're still useful, okay? And if you don't want to do that, I do have some really excellent advice. Consider this a PSA. If you have little Spice jars like this, if you're if you're a Penzies fan, you probably have a million little jars. If you don't want to save all of your jars, that's cool. I, I'm not judging. Uh, but save the lids. Save the lids. Because if you're anything like me, and you're probably not, but if you are, you're going to drop them 
all the time. And every time you drop them, the lid just fucking explodes. I don't, like, the jar survives. The lid does not. Explain this to me. So, save your lids. It's, like, the first time it happens, you'll be like, yeah, she was right. She was right. She's so stupid about so many things, but she got this right. God damn. So, pew, pew, pew. Re Reblog to save a life. I don't know. So, the first one I'm going to try is this one. The floral one. Because I am told that this one is quite dry. Despite having raspberry and blackberry flavor, it's, it's apparently not very sweet. And from what I'm told, the juniper flavor really still comes through. So, it's still quite a strong uh, flavor. This, I have a feeling, is going to be a little bit lighter. So I want to start with that one first and then go to this one so that I don't have like a real strong taste in my mouth and then go to that. So this guy is Rose and Jasmine. It is a very pleasant pink. It's hard to see because there's still label on here. Mm -hmm. Something tells me this is going to go really well with lemonade and I'm really, really excited about this. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, pardon me it is extremely floral like but not too much I've had some drinks where it was like really overwhelming and that's not and that is gonna make like a phenomenal addition to lemonade I'm really glad I bought that one moment oh I forgot to plug in my phone before I started and I got like the low power thing and I was like, oh no. And then I went to plug it in and somehow I had looped the cord all the way through and around into the door of the pantry, uh, not pantry, the cupboard and like I'm gonna have to learn how to edit just for this. Okay. This is gonna go really, really well in lemonade. I can tell. That's gonna be so refreshing. This is gonna be the cocktail that you drink, like, out on the lawn somewhere in a big white lacy hat. And, like, if you have lace gloves, whip them out for this bad boy right here. Okay? This is your fancy lady cocktail, and you get your sticky, sticky pinky out and just be like, look at me go. Like, mm, mm, okay? That's lovely. It's really good. Here's this guy. This one. It's definitely a stronger smell. You, I mean, the berries are in there, but it, like, like a friend of mine said, like, you don't lose sight of the fact that it's gin. Like, it's got that sort of botanical kind of smell as well. So let's see. Hmm. 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 It's like... Hmm. I feel like I need a little bit more to really get... Like... Yeah, dry. Not bad. And keeping in mind, I'm not a person who drinks alcohol straight. So, it's not bad. That, I think I would make a, a gin and tonic with. I think that would make a nice gin and tonic. The, the berry flavor isn't as strong as I expected it to be, but then again, I think that maybe when it's mixed with other things, it'll bring it out a little bit. But yeah, it's, I, I agree with my friend. She was absolutely right. Like, you don't lose sight of the fact that that's gin. Like, that, the botanicals are still really there. Uh, and it's a much stronger flavor. Like, this is not any shrinking violet. It's just, it's lighter. Like, this feels warmer in your mouth. It's, 
it's a heavier kind of sensation. This guy is, is much lighter, but it's like, again, no slouch. It's uh, 80 proof. So, I mean, it's not like it's messing around. What is this guy? 43% uh, so 86. All right, still, okay. But yeah, so um, neither of them is any slouch. But yeah, so that's my my taste testing. That's my recommendations. And um, I hope you try them and enjoy them. And I hope I get to see you all soon.